Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Another hour of the Kevin Jackson Show. 844-551-8255 if you want to call in. And kjradio.com if you want to contact us by email or whatever. We love getting your messages. In fact, a gentleman sent me a message just the other day. What was his name? Very nice message. And it was like, you know, hey, Kev, you know, I'm glad to know that you guys, you know, read the messages. And I'm going to find it because I want to I want to actually read what he said. Here's what he says. Thanks for mentioning your listeners notes. If you get a chance, a charge out of getting them, trust me, us listeners get a double charge and are so encouraged to know that you get and read a lot of them. Would like to send you more notes of preach on, brother. But dang, work gets in the way and to be able to always not able to always stop and write. Keep up the great work. So much appreciate your efforts. That came from Dennis. So, Dennis, I appreciate your message. I told you guys we get them. We get lots of messages that uh, on, you know, you guys call the show 844-551-8255. And occasionally we call, you know, we'll play them. Uh, Generally speaking, it's just you guys leaving a message of encouragement or, you know, Kevin, you're going to cover this or cover that. And we like that as well. So love getting your messages. I can't stress that enough. So happy you guys are out there listening to us because we have to fight against the we have to swim upstream much of the time. We're fighting against our own ourselves. These rhino Republicans like Mitch McConnell, who I blame for Roy Moore losing. And then we're fighting against these Cretans on the left. Soulless Cretans is what they are. These Democrats, these leftists, these so-called progressives. And I talked about them earlier because what I said to you is you must, and and this is kind of our theme of the day, is you have to learn not to care about them. And it's tough to do as a conservative. You go, look, I'm programmed to sort of want to help people, to get them out of their malaise, out of their stupor. Well, they're celebrating tonight. You know why they're celebrating? Because Planned Parenthood can kill more black babies. They're celebrating because they can bring in more terrorists, perhaps. They can stop you from getting your money back from the government by stopping President uh, President Trump's tax bill. They can let in more illegals and give them more rights than you so they can go kill more Kate Steinleys and get off. Yeah, they're exuberant. They're over there celebrating this stuff. They're celebrating that they elected a guy that, that served for eight years and doubled our debt that ran our deficit through the roof that brought in terrorism in ways we don't even, you know, that we would never have believed it in our lives that we would be fighting terrorists brought in more bad, bad people, banditos coming in from Mexico, robbing those, the the country of Mexico of its people and its culture. And I could go on the shooting of cops, condoning it, blessing racist terrorist groups like Black Lives Matter, and I could continue. This is what we, this is the the type of people that are over there smiling and laughing because Roy Roy Moore lost last night and Doug Jones won. They're Cretans. So how could you possibly care about somebody like that? They expect you to care. They know you will get up and go to work so you can give more of your tax dollars to that gross a beast called the federal government that doesn't give a crap about you. They love that you'll do that, that no matter what, you're still going to show up, come rain or shine. And then they're going to redistribute that money to people, you know, with names like Jaquan and Dewan and Rodrigo, who have more girlfriends, more wives and more kids by all of them than you're probably you and all your brothers and sisters combined. They don't care. So why should you? You know how to let go. You've had to give tough love to a kid or tough love to a friend. You love them, but sometimes you got to let them go their own way. The Bible says, when I was a child, I acted like a child. But when I became a man, I acted like a man. What we don't know how to do well, folks, is learn not to care. When we talk of raising the ocean, there's a, you know, the saying, a rising tide raises all ships. Well, that's too doggone bad. I'm sorry that Donald Trump's economy is raising the ships for everybody because you know what? The leftists don't care. They don't, they aren't going to credit him. 
They're going to credit Barack Obama unless you tell them when you when they say, well, that was Barack Obama's economy. You go out. You're a fool if you believe that. Barack Obama said he couldn't save Carrier and Trump did it. He said we were going to lose manufacturing. Trump's bringing it back. Shut up. I don't want to hear anything from you. We need to make the left want to be us. You want to know why? Because we're crazy, sexy, cool. There should be a penalty for being a leftist. You shouldn't benefit from Donald Trump's stock market. You should have to take your money out. You shouldn't benefit from safer neighborhoods. Get your butt to the ghetto or get out of the country. There should be a penalty. An illegal shot and killed Kate Steinle and he didn't pay. The people who let him in that sanctuary city, they didn't pay. In fact, they believe they were vindicated by the not guilty verdict. See, what we did was right. No, it wasn't. You know, by the way, when you meet, see your black folks, because there's some of them that know this, ask any one of them. Hey, I'm just going to ask you, Jaquan, do you think you could have shot Kate Steinle and stayed out of prison, my brother? See, what leftists do, they destroy stuff. And what they did to to Roy Moore is they destroyed this man's reputation for fun. I want you to imagine that you've worked your entire life to build a reputation as a good person. Let's say a judge. And because of some petty ideology, somebody wants to destroy you. And those very same leftists protected other leftists whom they know are bad people, men of ill repute. They protected Kevin Spacey, Charlie Sheen, Weinstein, uh, Bill Clinton, and many others. They stood right there shoulder to shoulder fighting for him. Gillibrand, I've been, uh, I'm going to be talking about her. I talked about her earlier, actually. But Gillibrand it took, was on the campaign trail with a known rapist, Bill Clinton, took donations six times from Harvey Weinstein, and she wants to tell you, I'm the new keeper of women. Yes, she is. Folks, fear not. In the end, we win. Don't sweat it. You are in the best position you have been in as a conservative in decades. And don't you worry about it. You go out there, you do your thing. But you better open your mouth and let these leftists know you're not going to be stepped on. You're not going to be trampled on. They want to rub Doug Jones in your face. Say, I tell you what, we still got Donald Trump. So take that. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 